In 2011, some of the first Minecraft YouTube videos I've ever watched were about players showing off insane redstone builds. Well, insane for the time. Now, as of more recently, I've been wondering if these decade-plus-old redstone machines would still work in the latest version of Minecraft. Today, we're gonna find that out together. Now, depending on your past knowledge of redstone in Minecraft, you may either think that the years of game updates would break everything, or that redstone is redstone. Why would anything be different 10 years later? Well, I will say that there have been countless updates over the years to the way redstone works in Minecraft. But when we're talking about the basic fundamentals, redstone pretty much behaves the same as it did almost 15 years ago back in Minecraft Alpha. So really, there's only one way to put this to the test. Load in extremely old redstone builds, in modern Minecraft, and see if they work. Let's start with this redstone calculator. This was probably one of the earliest redstone videos I've ever watched on YouTube, and at the time, I thought this was absolutely insane. I even left a comment about it years later about that. Now earlier, I was able to download the map, but it was anything but straightforward. First off, these adfly links now redirect to some new website that bought them out, and make you wait an hour to bypass it. No problem, that's what archive.org is for. Just gotta view the page source, and there's the Mediafire link. Which by the way, props to them for keeping up these links for this long. So now that we have the file, we can't just drag and drop this world into our saves folder because this map was made in a much older version of Minecraft, and loading it in this state will not work. So what I had to do was load it up in very specific versions of the game to properly get it ready to load in modern Minecraft. And even with that, I still had issues with chunks just disappearing. So I played around with the Minecraft versions even more, and I found that this combination of Minecraft versions works best for alpha save format worlds. Alright, let's give this a try. Okay, nothing looks broken. We're at 1.21.3. Let's give this a shot. Wow. The aesthetic of this is incredible. Okay, already this looks promising. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So let's change this to addition. Okay. Oh, wait. No way. What? There is no way this still works. Okay, wait a sec, wait a sec. Um, let's do one plus one. Oh wow, it's it's doing something. Oh wait. Oh, I forgot to turn off seven. There we go. On. <gasps> Unbelievable. One plus one equals two. No freaking way. Wow. Look at it calculating. That took a while. That is so cool. After almost 15 years, this thing actually still works. All right, we gotta see behind the scenes. Warning, high voltages. Wow, this is so incredibly old school. Not a single redstone repeater in sight. That could be the reason why this thing still works in modern Minecraft, just because of how simple it is. And the fact that it holds up this many years later is just mind-boggling. This is what it looks like behind the screen. Getting a seven-segment display to work, given the very limited redstone features at the time, is very impressive. So there we go, guys. This redstone calculator actually still works in modern Minecraft. Now here's a really neat one. This is Pong in Minecraft, but before pistons existed. So this player instead used doors as the pixels. Very resourceful if you ask me. Anyways, let's give this a shot in modern Minecraft. Okay, here we go. Pong from beta 1.4 in modern Minecraft. Oh, and right off the bat, a good portion of the doors literally just broke. And do I see some half doors there? Uh, you know what? This does make sense, because when you update between certain versions of Minecraft, it tends to break doors and do some unpredictable things. But I want to try this as is, so let's turn on this wall. 
Oh, okay, wait. Is it gonna fix itself? Oh, wait, that wall just fixed itself. Uh, okay. Uh, it's not getting the top part. Okay, so it's only going up to there. Okay, something's definitely broken. Let's try the other wall. Okay, yeah, there's some half doors there. Okay, so it seems like this wall doesn't even work. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off, and I'm just gonna try sending a ball. Uh-oh. Okay, so I hear- Oh, there it go- Oh! There it showed- It showed up! Wait, it's working! Whoa! It took a while! There is no way this is still working! Wait, 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 wait! Let me turn off this wall. That- That wall literally just started working and I didn't even notice. Okay, so this is a good sign. We know the game is probably working. We just need to fix the doors, so let me do that real quick. So I ended up replacing the broken doors, but it wasn't exactly perfect. Yeah, this wall is acting very strange. You know, I'm just gonna ignore it. Let's just try to play with the doors as they are and see where we get. Send a ball. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, wait a sec. I'm a total idiot. The doors are supposed to be like that because you move this up and down, but they're not moving. Okay, does this paddle work? Okay, this side works. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. No, no, I keep it down, keep it down. Oh, wait. Okay, this is working. This is working. Yep. Okay. Go. Ah, man. Jeez, this game is really hard. You have to deal with the input delay of, like, the paddles. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it's actually kind of fun. And I'm, I'm glad I actually made this work. Ah, see? This is... Ah. It's so annoying to play this. I feel like I'm going to call this machine functional ish i mean i did have to fix a lot of the doors and even still i can't really figure out the rest doors in minecraft are weird all right <laughs> but regardless using doors as pixels before pistons or redstone lamps were a thing was clever as hell and looking back here wow all these colors of wool definitely do make it look complicated but in the general gist of it all it's pretty compact actually okay i think we had enough of this one let's check out another tick tack toe this is going to be the oldest build in the collection we are going over today. And just to put into perspective how old this build is, it was built just over four months after redstone was added to Minecraft. All right, here we go. Wow. Now, if this isn't the most old school redstone contraption I've ever seen, then I don't know what else is. Okay, let's give this a go. Hit a button to mark a square. Turns rotate automatically. Hit reset when done. Okay, let's just do it. X, okay. O. Wow, that works perfectly. Yeah, there's literally no problems with this whatsoever. And it's actually pretty expected because the calculator worked perfectly fine. I mean, it's all redstone torches. Here, let's go back here. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. This just goes to show the resiliency of just using redstone and redstone torches. And look at this, he labeled all the signs for everything. Decoder for X and O. Oh my gosh, there's no way I'd be able to understand any of this. Yeah, I think that's all the time I'm going to spend on this one. It just works. Simple as that. Finally, we're going to look at the mother of all classic redstone builds. The interactive redstone computer. Now, unfortunately with this one, the download link to the original version of this world, shown in the video, doesn't exist anymore, and we only have this last version of the world posted on the Minecraft forum that was updated for Minecraft 1.8, which was still released over 10 years ago though. The creator of this map even said that if you open this world in another version, he can't guarantee that nothing would break. Open it in 1.8 only. Yeah, about that. All right, so I'm gonna try to load this without doing anything else. This is straight from the 1.8 version. And look at this, right off the bat. Make sure you use Minecraft 1.8 version of the game. It also says read the manual to get a simple understanding of the functions. <sighs> manuals, we don't need manuals. Let's just get right into this. All right, so here's the screen. H. Uh, okay, maybe I do need the manual. <laughs> there we go. Computer manual, index, how to boot. There are two buttons at the bottom right of the monitor. Okay, here they are. I'm assuming this one starts it up. 
booting. Welcome to the Redstone computer. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, it's okay, it's working. If it's doing that, I'm pretty confident we can type something. Okay, H. Did it type? Oh, oh my gosh. This thing works. Okay, let's type I. On. There we go. Wow, it even automatically lowercases the I. That is impressive. Okay, I need to open up this manual again and see how to actually run a program. To launch programs, use the scroll wheel on the mouse. Left click to launch or shut down the program. So I think we have to use the scroll wheel up. Okay, there we go. Left click. All right. Calculator enabled. Okay, so let's try doing a calculation. We'll do five times. Wait for it to show up. Nice. Equals. Okay. Equals. Dude. Twenty five. That is unbelievably impressive. And this was made over 10 years ago. And not to mention, the creator told us not to use this in any version other than 1.8. And this uses repeaters and probably comparators, I think? Even though I don't see any at first glance. This thing is actually surprisingly pretty small, but I mean, it's all very compressed into a little space, so. Now overall, I've been actually very surprised that all of these builds I tried, for the most part, worked flawlessly. And especially this one too, I mean, it seems the most complicated out of all the ones we've seen. But I do always like a nice unexpected outcome. In a good way. Now the builds that we explored in this video were just a very small handful of the many I wanted to try. But the problem was that the links to a lot of the world downloads I wanted to try are either now broken or removed, and archive.org didn't archive it, or there wasn't even a download link to begin with. Anyways, I thought I should end off the video with a challenge for you guys. First off, all the world downloads are in this video's description, which gives you the opportunity to possibly expand upon one of these builds. Now, what I'm eyeballing most is this calculator. If someone could figure out a way to add multiplication, the ability to use more digits in an equation, or really anything, while keeping the same aesthetic and without the use of redstone repeaters or other modern redstone, I will pin your comment of the best one I see, making sure you have a video on your channel of you showing it off. Good luck guys, and I'll see you later.